No, wait, where is the fucking Republic? Embassy. Right there! It's just that easy. Welcome to Manan. I'm Roland Wan. As the official representative of the Republic Embassy on this planet, I'm here to help all citizens of the Republic should they require aid. Kolto is a precious resource. Its healing powers are near miraculous. During times of war, Kolto becomes even more valuable. As long as we have the permits, we will continue to harvest Kolto and ship it to our Republic soldiers battling against the Sith. Of course, the Sith enjoy the very same privileges. If there was some way we could gain an edge over the Sith in our Kolto supply, but the Selkath are fiercely protective of their neutrality in this conflict. They do not want to grant either side an advantage. Hmm. Oh, of course. Of course, I'll do whatever I can. But I'm only a simple diplomatic representative of the Republic. I doubt I can be of any use to the Jedi Council. An ancient and forgotten race. And you think it may be here on Manan? Hmm. Well, perhaps. But if you want to get information about that, you'll have to do something for me first. Oh, come on! You just told me, I'm not sure if I can help the Jedi Council. But now you're telling me, yes, I can help the Jedi Council, but I need you... I need you to... to... I'm trying not to make this sexual. <laughs> but I mean, come on. No, no. Damn it! Do what I want and maybe I can help you out. We were using a submersible reconnaissance droid in the ocean surrounding Otto City, and it was damaged. It took a data recording of the outside of the city before being driven off by the Firaxan sharks. But while it was returning to the surface, it encountered difficulties and was disabled. Its automatic systems floated it to the surface, but we could not retrieve it in time. The Sith were applying subtle pressure to the Selkath authorities for some reason we've not determined and were able to delay us long enough that they could retrieve the droid before we did. The droid's data centers are heavily encrypted, so it will take the Sith several days, we believe, to get to its data. It was captured 12 hours ago. It is imperative that we get it back. It's heavily guarded, we're sure, in the Sith Embassy here on Manan. Since we have no remaining soldiers to spare, and certainly not our elite ones, we have no one capable of entering the Sith base and retrieving it. That is what we would ask you to do. There are several leads we've been working on to get into the Sith base. Any of them should work for you, although it might be wise to concentrate your efforts on just one. The just give me a uniform! ...to help us interrogate a Sith prisoner we managed to catch after he tried to infiltrate our base. He's being held just inside our enclave. We think he may be able to give us the passcode that the Sith give their informers to enter the base. He has proved most resilient so far. Oh, I could just use Persuade or Force Persuade. We managed to pick up a crate of blank Sith data cards, the type they use for pass cards. The encryption system to unlock them is very difficult, however. But if you are more skilled than our technicians, you may be able to gain access that way. Is there another way? The Sith have got the Seltcalf to give them exclusive use of one of the main hangar bays. Visiting Sith Masters use this bay to land. Then take a speeder over the water to an external entrance to the Sith Enclave. The luckless spy we mentioned earlier had a pass card to that hangar on him. While it is surely well guarded, it may prove to be the most direct route. Here's the card. The Sith base itself is very heavily guarded. If they became aware of your presence, I fear you would be quickly outnumbered and killed. Here is a pass card to get you inside our facility. You should find all you need to get started in there. You can choose whichever of the methods you want as long as you get in the base and get the data recording back. Which method do you think you would like to try first? Let's interrogate the prisoner. Good call. Just make sure you don't push him too hard or we might lose him. I wish you luck in your task. Should you retrieve the data recording from the droid, return it here to me, and we can see about getting you that information. Alright. Let's go play good cop, bad cop. Which means obviously. Ah, uh, no, we'll leave. We'll leave it. 
So, you're the one Roland has got to help us interrogate this prisoner. I hope your Jedi powers will come in useful. This one has been most resistant. He's a Sith spy we picked up a little while ago, snooping around outside trying to get in. We thought he was suspicious and brought him inside when the Selkath weren't looking. But it seems the Sith have done a pretty good job of conditioning this guy, and we haven't been able to break him yet. The Sith protect their really important spies with some sort of mental force feedback system. They can turn their minds in on themselves, so force compulsions won't affect them. Combine Damn. this with conventional training to resist interrogation, and sometimes it takes months to get them to tell what they know. Do you want to interrogate him now? Sure. Well, the training the Sith gave him will protect him from most normal interrogation techniques, and also from force persuasion. We have found a few hooks you might find useful. He was with another man when he was first spotted. We think it was another spy, but we didn't manage to catch him. We also seized some personal documents he had on him when he was captured. It would seem that he's married to a woman named Tila. We checked this in our computers, and it seems to hold up. We've sent a couple of agents to investigate, but it may be a while. What we have here is your standard issue truth serum. It should make him spill his guts in no time. But there is a catch. Because of his conditioning, he's able to resist it at small doses. But if you give him too much, his body realizes what you're trying to do and shuts his mind down completely. If you do that, you'll have to inject him with an antidote that neutralizes the truth serum. Unfortunately, that too has a drawback. It causes short-term memory loss. This may work to your advantage because you can try the same tactic over and over again. But if you use it too much, he may forget everything we want to know. This is too Shall complicated. Just then? give me the data pad and... Fuck it, I'll try it hey anyway. Hey you, wake up. Someone wants to talk to you. Ugh. What? What do you want? You're not. <laughs> you... Lies. You work for the Republic. The Sith will never trust you again, spy. We're the only place you have left. Tell us what we want to know. But they... they wouldn't. Would they? That old fuck needs to just shh. Don't speak. Ha! <laughs> Worth my while. The Sith don't pay very well, but they'd kill me. Please, please don't hurt me. Or... Or... What companion? Of course, they would never believe we let you go so easily, but they would all too happily believe you betrayed them. No. Damn, he blanked out. Ugh. Fuck. Damn it. Why? You're not. The sip would be. Why? How did you find out about her? No. Damn. I don't want to be an asshole. Fuck this. This is so friggin' brutal. Just give me the damn... Give me the damn data pad so I can get this shit over with. It's the same damn thing. So you're the one who's gonna try to get into the Sith base, eh? Huh, good luck, you're gonna need it. This is our main computer room here. We got the box of pass cards we got from the Sith, but we haven't been able to break their encryption yet. We have been able to decode the numeric system they use, but there are holes in our terminal sequence patterns. The strings of numbers that end the code sequences. If we could complete those strings, we would have the key to their encryption system. The encryption system is composed of six matrices. Each is based on a mathematical method. 
the holes we're missing are the final number in each of the strings. Most are simple, but the final two matrices seem to be much more difficult. Well, the second last matrix has a pattern looping back on itself, or something. And the last is divided into smaller subparts. Maybe the pattern for that is within each part. But I have to admit, all this is a bit over my head. I haven't even been able Dude, to Dude, I haven't done matrices, matrices since I was 15 already. years old. Is, you think so I'm going to fucking remember this shit? Soon. Since Roland said you were cleared, you can use the computer freely. I'll be here if you have any questions. Do you think that I'm going to remember this shit? Just give it to my droid. Use logic. Give it to this thing. Right here. He will solve these problems in two seconds. Boom! What the fuck? 125 spikes? What in the fuck? says 22 18 it's going back up sixty four Two. Oh. Exponential. What? Now we're fucked. Cause I'm not, I'm not, I'm not sure what they're doing here with, with their exponents. I need to go back in time. Give me a second. I need to time travel. Hold on. I need to go back in time. Ten years to the last time I had to use math. Like this, anyway. Go back in time. Think. Use what little you remember from the terrible ass education system that you grew up in. Use it. They're not all perfect squares though, are they? 32 isn't a perfect square, unless I'm being really fucking stupid, which is possible. 36 would be a... But it's reversing itself. Wait, 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 wait. 
It's one to whatever, it doesn't matter, it's one. So, but 32... Exponentially speaking, what of those numbers go makes 32? Oh. No, wait, what? 25. No, hold on. That logic just failed me. Hmm. I'm not even looking at chat right now. I don't even want to know what YouTube's gonna say either. It's okay. It's okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna fucking my brain's gonna do it. It's gonna happen. I'm assuming that it's the, like, the exponent that's changing going up, right? So it'd be like, it, it, it's going up five, six down, and then stepping back down. Doing it in my head, however, is a bad time. So this is like one, two, three, four, five, right? So it's one to the one, two, or one to something, doesn't matter because it's always going to be one. Two to what is 32? Two to the fifth power? Fourth? Three to the what power is 81. So it's one to the whatever, that's two to the five. Is it three to the six? And then four to the five again, because that'd be four. 16. Five to the two. One, two, three. Five to the two. Six to the one. So is it just six? So is it one is it one to six and then it reverses itself all the way to six to one? I think it's six to one. Ha! Ah! Yes! Yes! Yeah! <laughs> Yes, my brain! My brain did it! Back to the future! <laughs> oh dear. That's funny. Now we're doing logarithms. This shit I really haven't done since high school because you never fucking see it after high school. Well, at least for what I did. You know, there's stats and shit, but you didn't really do a lot of log. Oh dear. This, I, this is not happening in my head. And I don't even remember logs all that much. You fucking all you do was calculate it for this shit. 
Uh, I gotta reverse it. Fuck. I don't wanna have to reverse it. My brain. Alright. I have no idea what these dashes are trying to fucking refer to. <laughs> like, I don't know if that's 10 or a 1 0 or what they're fucking trying to accomplish here. This is a bit fucking. I think it's 1, then a 0, then a 8, then a 3, then a 32, and a 5. Fuck. My brain is not prepared for this. Okay. Give me a second. As soon as I figure out what they're trying... Because I can't remember, like, if there has to be pairing and shit like that. Like, what they're trying to fucking accomplish. Or they're just trying to... I don't, I don't fucking... My brain... High school. So far away. If this is what I think... If, if this is... If they're just pairs... And they're trying to get me to pair whatever 128 is... So, If three is the, like, so for instance, if zero, or if three is the base and they're trying to get me to get to eight, then it's two, five is also two, so what's two to the power of whatever gives you 128? Two to the what gives you 128? Fucking... That mental math is probably not happening. Somebody fucking just tell me what that is. Seven. Oh, it's base two. Okay, there you go. See? My brain didn't want to remember that you're supposed to, like, fucking sequence it log base something. But it kind of fucking had it in there. Good job, brain! Good job! So gourd! Get the fuck out of here. Oh! Yeah, I flipped the logs back to exponents. Yeah. Which is really just about the same thing. Fuck me. Okay. What can I do? Sure. Great. I have this data pad thingy. So what do I do? Just take this data pad and be like, hey, I've got this data pad thing. Let me in, even though I'm a Jedi. Okay. Sorry, buddy, but the hotel is closed. Ever since the murder, the Selkath have made me keep this place locked up tight. Only the Selkath authorities and those authorized by them are allowed in. What? Murder? This old Republic war hero by the name of Sunri was seeing the Sith woman here, Alasa. Well, they were seeing each other, but the other night a blaster went off in one of the rooms. Sunri got seen leaving the place, and the Sith woman was dead on the floor. Damn! But not everyone thinks this Sunri He must have had a it. huge dick. So the Selkath are holding him in prison while the case gets sorted out. In the meantime, they closed down my hotel. But enough about my problems. You can't stay here while the investigation is on. You'll have to find someplace else to stay. Sorry. Sour.
Knock, knock. Fast till I get the fuck out of my way. We're going on an adventure. We're gonna infiltrate the Sith base, baby. Going on an adventure. Only people who have business with the Sith are allowed inside the. I have this pass card. If you have a pass, why are you bothering me with it? Just go in. Fine. I will. Uh, all of my monitors are 60 You there? I don't recognize you. How did you get in here? With a pass card? Your pass card is out of date, and I don't recognize you at all. Commander Gran. Rip well, son of a bee. You authorize this person to enter? I don't know them, and their identification doesn't match up. They're spies. What? Sound the alarm! Droids, destroy them! Well, fuck me senseless. Let's try that again. <laughs> you there. I... You! I don't recognize you. Seriously? I know the faith. Commander Gran. You authorize this person to enter? I don't know them. And their identification doesn't match up. They're spies. What? Well, ain't that some shit. All I see now we're gonna start all out fucking Oh, I mean we're already at war, so I guess it doesn't really matter all that much. Uh you're gonna get to do this. Disable droid. You just attack. You are going to just stasis. Wow, she saved that. This bitch is like... God tier. Alright, well. Well, we tried. We tried to be civil. We tried to be civil and this happened. 